The weak are the people who aren't allowed to say what they really think. Those are the weak. And what you just saw are the strong demanding the silence of the weak. Everyone's kind of figured this out, except the people demanding it. They're so up their own butts that you just heard them say that Twitter's a fiduciary duty to ignore its shareholders, block the deal, and continues Twitter's decline in the market. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. And because it doesn't, you can be certain you are watching a meltdown. And of course, at the bottom of the meltdown is always the same charge. He's a racist. Wait for the New York Times piece telling you Elon Musk is a racist. Sean King, the fake black activist on Twitter, wrote this, quote, at its root, Elon Musk wanting to purchase Twitter is not about left versus right. It's about white power. The man was raised in apartheid by a white nationalist. He's upset that Twitter won't allow white nationalists to target, harass people. That's his definition of free speech. <laughs> so you have a fake black guy attack attacking Elon Musk because of his parents? Right. So Musk hasn't responded point by point to all this. And again, there's something a little bit pathetic if you care about democracy and pinning your hopes on one guy. But again, what are our options at this point? So far, Elon Musk has said all the right things. In a statement this afternoon announcing his purchase of Twitter, he said this, quote, Free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Twitter has tremendous potential. I look forward to working with the company and the community of viewers, users to unlock it." End quote. Now, if that's even half true, how is it not an improvement over what we currently have, where people are arbitrarily banned depending upon the whims of politicians in charge, where the powerful crush the weak to maintain their power? If you think the status quo is better than that, then you're a tyrant. Douglas Murray is the author of a brand new and